Keep up to date with all my videos by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you turn on all notifications. And stay connected with me on my Twitter. Hit that follow button. So you want to be a pro in Call of Duty, or you just want to be a better player. Well, you've come to the right place because I compiled some great tips that's going to get you those high KD gameplays and those high kill gameplays. What's up, guys? My name is Captain Shakes. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to the channel. And if you're struggling in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, then I hope these tips will help you. Because let's face it, in the end, we all want to do good, we all want to do our best, and we all want to be the greatest Call of Duty player in history. Now the first tip I have for you is control mid map. Map control will win you games 9 out of 10 times and you're going to notice in the gameplay in the background I only die 4 times in the whole entire game and you will notice that when I gain mid map control that is when I'm at my best. Now there's 3 reasons why I like to control mid map. The first reason is you don't have to rush around looking for enemies, going back to your old habits. And when I mean old habits, I mean not pre-aiming, not checking corners, rushing into the enemy spawn, and pretty much playing like a chicken with your head cut off. When you're not controlling mid-map and you're rushing, everything could be random. You do not know where the enemies are, and if you run into a sticky situation with one or two or even more enemies, who knows what your aim is going to be like? Who knows if you're going to have the patience and the ability to knock down and gun down those two or three enemies. Now the second reason I like to control mid-map is that the enemy players will always come to you. Now if you're playing bad players, noobs, Christmas noobs, mediocre players or just casual players that just like to have fun, their one goal is to just get as many kills as possible in that match. So what are they going to do? They are going to go rush in the middle just for the action and guess what? You're you're going to be right there to pick them off and on occasion you're gonna get those two or three players that are just going to be so mad that they're going to continue to rush mid map and you're just going to continue to lay them down when you are controlling mid map you are going to know where the enemies are they're either going to spawn one way or another way you do not have to worry about getting shot in the back if you are controlling mid map the correct way you can predict the enemy spawn and you can just pick them apart the only way you are going to die is if you get flanked but that's what teammates are for that's why we have such things in the game like sensor dart and acoustic sensor and the third reason why I love to control mid map is easy it's simple and that is to get your streaks faster now if you're rushing around the map trying to find enemies it could take minutes to get your streaks but if you're controlling mid map and the enemies are coming right to you you can get your score streaks in a matter of 30 45 seconds that is the best part about controlling mid map and you're going to see in this gameplay why I like controlling mid map because I get my streaks and you will notice that my strike team will go off. In this game my strike team I'm pretty sure got me about 12 to 15 kills so that is why I love to control mid map and like I said when you control mid map if you have map control you're going to win the game 9 out of 10 times. Now the second tip I have for you is something so simple and easy and that is to play in a party now I'm not going to go too much in detail about this because let's face it we all know how to play in a party but when you're playing in a party you are benefiting so much because most of the time you are going to be all mic'd up with you and some friends or you know even some random people that you met online and with the party you are going to get call outs you're going to know where your teammates are dying and you're going to know where the enemies are and if you're playing a game mode like Dom it is very important that you do not push spawns that you keep B and you keep the enemy spawn in, in one area that is called map control and it's very easy to do in Dom 
Now the third tip I have for you is another easy and simple trick to do and that is just to simply watch film. Black Ops 4 has a great option that's called theater mode. You can watch prior gameplays just like what people in the NFL do, just like what players in the NBA do. If they want to study another team or another player, they watch film of themselves or that player. And you can even watch another Call of Duty player and how they play. If they had a good game and you want to check them out, go ahead and rock theater mode. Go check them out. Go watch their gameplay. It's not all about you. You you can study other Close. gamers and other Call of Duty players film. Now I'm going to end it with the most important tip, the biggest tip I have for you and that is to simply just practice. Guys, practice makes perfect. I've said it in prior videos before. There is no special button, no secret setting, no best, no god class setup that you are going to use that's going to automatically make you a better player. You need to put the time and effort into game. It's just like anything you do in life. To get better at something, whether it's sports, whether it's you know making movies or making a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's going to take practice. So guys, I can't stress it enough just sit down and practice you're gonna be bad if it's gonna be bad it's just only gonna get better so with that said that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this one it was really fun to make with a great gameplay on TDM 41 kills is pretty darn good on TDM so as always guys stay cool fool don't hate eat some cake thick thighs and bright eyes and for God's sakes guys keep on grinding I know I'm gonna get it I just don't know how I've never felt how I feel